Twenty Lives of Shavarash Karapetian. On September 16, 1976, the Soviet swimmer from Armenia, Shavarash Karapetian, left home for a daily run with his brother and coach. He was only 23 years old and was already a 17-time world champion, 13-time European champion, and master of sports in scuba diving. As always, Shevarash ran his usual 20-kilometer cross with a backpack loaded with 25 kilograms of sand. He did not yet know that that autumn morning would make him a hero, but it would also put an end to his sporting career. Together with his brother, they ran along the Yerevan Lake, not paying attention to the trolley bus passing by. They were so close to finishing their run. A few moments later, the trolley bus, full of people, suddenly turned aside at full speed, fell into the lake and sunk along with 92 passengers in it. After noticing this, Shevarash and his brother ran to the water, taking off their tracksuits on the way. The trolley bus sank to a depth of about 10 meters. Air quickly escaped from it, and passengers were trapped in a metal box under the water. There was no time to think. Acting was vital, and Shevarash dived into the cold water. I am a world-class professional swimmer, so I thought only about the people who were underwater. There was no time to think about myself, said Shevarash later. The water was cloudy and cold, 13 degrees. The most difficult thing was to knock out the rear window. He cut himself badly, but he grabbed the first person and quickly swam up to the surface of the lake. His brother, along with the coach in the boat, dragged people on board when they reached the surface, immediately giving them artificial respiration and brought them ashore. The champion was in a hurry, 10 meters deep, but diving takes a lot of time, thought Karapetian. A few breaths and he dives into the depths again to save the next person. Fortunately, the hospital was nearby. Ambulance and rescuers arrived quickly, but only the champion could dive to such a depth and he was the only one that could hold his breath underwater for five and a half minutes. Whilst this was happening, a crowd gathered on the shore. Everyone silently counted the seconds and waited for Shavarash to come to the surface with another rescued person. For about 20 minutes, he dived into the cold water, made his way through broken glass inside the trolley bus, grabbed a man and swam up with him. He was very cold and dizzy from severe blood loss. His blood remained stained on the surface of the water. Shavarash became tired. He did not have the strength to dive 10 meters. So he dived with a heavy stone in his hands. He dove over and over again. After all, no one else could do it. Once I pulled the seat of the trolley bus out from under the water, I fainted from the lack of oxygen and did not feel that it was not a human body. Then I dreamed about this pillow for a long time. I could have saved one more life instead, Shavarash recalled later. He continued to dive and look for people in the darkness of the depths, because he was a champion. But when he began to pull only the dead bodies to the top, once this became apparent, Shavarash was stopped by the rescuers. He was only allowed to dive one more time to attach the cable from a crane which pulled the trolley bus to the beach. In total, he pulled 46 people out of the abyss. Unfortunately, doctors were able to save only 20 of them. The entire rescue operation took 45 minutes. All that time, Shevrush's father stood on the shore and watched his bloody son dive and save people. During that day, my father turned completely grey. Shavrash was taken to the hospital and placed in intensive care. He lost a lot of blood 
as his whole body was cut with glass. Unfortunately, sepsis, blood poisoning, and bilateral pneumonia set in. Both the doctors and the champion fought for his life, and the swimmer spent 45 days in the hospital. Following this, the champion left the hospital with injuries that ended his brilliant sporting career. After pneumonia, it became difficult for him to breathe due to a cough. The doctors forbade me to return to sports, says Karapetian, but I trained hard in order to take part in the new competitions. Despite his previous illness, in 1977, Shavaraj Karapetian became the European champion and set his last 11th world record. After that, he realized his health did not allow him to go in for sports. At that time, the Soviet government did not allow people to write about disasters. So, for a long six years, no one knew the name of the hero, neither the saved people, nor even the hero's wife. With all his records and medals, Shavarash lived like an ordinary man. Finally, in 1982, a Moscow journalist published an article detailing the tragedy and feat of Shavarash. Answering the journalist's question why he rushed to save the drowned without hesitation, Karapetian replied that he himself experienced how it was to drown, and he knew what painful death awaits a person at the depths of the water. The published article was a national event in the USSR, people started talking about Shavarash. He really became a national hero. He was recognized on the streets. He was invited to other cities and countries. The postman carried mails to him. He received 75,000 letters. Many letters had only his name without an address, but the postman knew the hero's address perfectly well. Sharavash's wife, having read the article about her husband in the newspaper, was shocked to learn the details of that tragedy. Doctors and rescuers, who later analyzed the situation, came to the conclusion that Shavarash Karaptian did something that could hardly have been done by anyone else in the world. His feat is similar to that of Hercules or Superman. Today, Sharavash Karapetian is an honorary citizen of Russia and lives in Moscow. He has two daughters and a son, who has followed in his father's footsteps and is now successful in scuba diving. I want my son to repeat at least some of my achievements, Karapetian dreams. In 2014, Shavarash took part in the Olympic torch relay in Sochi where the legendary athlete managed to carry the torch twice for the first time in the history of the games. In addition to this, he has founded a charitable foundation that helps athletes and develops scuba divers' talents. Now, he dreams of making this sport a part of the Olympics. Rescuing dozens of people may have cost Sharavish Karapetian a successful sporting career, but Karapetian does not regret it at all. Among his many gold sports medals, there is a medal made of base metal, but just as priceless as the others, for the rescue of drowning people. <laughs>